Setting up the default file handler with the DISM tool. It's going to be in three parts. Uh, the first part is to install and set the default file associations and then export them to an XML file. Part two is to import those exported file associations into a blank OS or a GMOS image and, and to set them up. And part three is to finally install Acrobat DC and set the PDF file extension specifically. This demonstration is to show how to set the default PDF file handler on Windows 10 using Deployment Image Servicing and Management, a Microsoft Deployment and Maintenance tool. And the first thing we need to do is find out what are the default handlers on the OS that we're working with. And let's uh, we go up a command prompt and run it as an administrator. We're going to run the line dism.exe space forward slash online space forward slash export dash default app associations colon c colon backslash appsos.xml and it's putting the file at the root. Okay, command is done. Let's have a look at it. There's the file. I'll open it up with Notepad and expand that out a bit so we'll get an idea of what we got going on here. And notice here are all the file extensions. Here are the program IDs. Some of them we don't recognize right away, but when you get over to the application name, you start recognizing things, uh, movies and TVs, photos, um, Internet Explorer, uh, music, Microsoft Edge. Okay, and uh, of course, the file extensions that are associated with them currently. So, close that up. And when you're setting up an image, you uh, want to install the apps uh, that you're gonna use but in this case what we're really concerned with is getting the file associations that are associated with uh, Acrobat so I'm going to show you how that's done first okay I'll close that up and we'll need to install Acrobat first. So let's do that. installation okay our next step is to set uh, Acrobat for all the file extensions that uh, it wants to own so first thing we want to do okay there we are we want to get to the control panel And then we want to get to the default programs. Now we're not going to set it to associate the file type or protocol with the program. We're going to set it to default programs, which is make a program the default for all the file types and protocols it can open. So select that. And it does take a 
well for this to all populate, but uh, it usually does so. So we're going to select here, Acrobat, give a short description. And then we say set this program as a default, use a selected program to open all file types and protocols that can open by default. And then select. And uh, we're done, say OK. And that close the control panel. So what we want to do again is to open up our command prompt. And again, it's uh, set up as the, to run as administrator. And we set up a uh, A new file. I'm just going to put the number two on there to designate it as something different. And we'll generate it and have a look at it. And there's the file. Open this up. So, what we're looking at and what we're looking for is a couple different things. We are looking for Acrobat, and you'll notice there's one file association, there's another right here, and there are several on down the line. And you'll notice that the program ID and some of these cases are a little bit different too so uh, the one I want to make sure you are aware of though is for PDF right there and notice it says Acrobat for for the program ID it says acrobat.document.dc uh, there is a variance here if you're using 20 15 classic or 2017 classic it will have the the number there instead of the the DC designation so that's just one thing you need to be aware of and then uh, we've got the first part done okay now for the next part Part two. First thing we're going to need is command prompt. And we're going to need to run that as administrator. Next, we're going to need to put the app associations. Uh, from our export at the root of the drive. And finally, we need to actually run the command line. Now I've got like three commands here that uh, are available that I wrote down in, at, in this file. One is to export, which we used. This one is to import. And the last one there is get. And we, uh, we won't be using that one right now. Okay, we're going to be putting in here, the line is dism.exe, space forward slash online, space forward slash import dash default app associations, and then the path to the root of the drive where the app associations.xml is available. So, we'll run that. And we imported it. Now, if we want to get 
the imported associations. We can get those in command prompt here. And as you'll notice, there are the associations that are being grabbed. Okay, part three. This is where the uh, start to uh, install. So we run the install for Acrobat. and install. Setup complete. And you can finish or launch. In this case, I'm going to hit finish and close the star folder. Okay. We've gone through the three stages. We've exported from an installed system of those file extensions. We've imported those file extensions into a blank image. And we've installed on that image. Okay, so it's asking us if we want to set up uh, Acrobat as our default PDF application. And the reason we are getting that is because uh, the way Windows 10 works, um, if there is another application that can also open up a file extension, uh, it's going to give you a choice and we, uh, we try to make this one. And it's going to also now run us through setting Acrobat as a default. Associate the PDF file type and then change it as. So we'll continue here, set. And you'll notice it is still set up as Edge. And we're going to change that. Select Acrobat. OK. And now I've done that. Apply OK. And we are done at this point. Continue. And we're set.